There's bite. There he is. Yes, sir. Hello again from the lake. Today is a great day because I'm in my kayak. I wish I could tell you that this was my first trip in my kayak this year, but sadly it's not. I've taken it out two other times and both times have been poor fishing. So I believe there's a saying, third time's a charm, and I think that's gonna be the case today. Now I've got a couple bass rods with me, got a couple ultralights with me, don't really know what I'm going for, but I know one thing, we're gonna catch some fish today, my friends. It's gonna be a good day. Let's get started. This stinking transducer is giving me all sorts of issues. I have to adjust it and wiggle it just right to give me an actual depth reading. Right now, as you can see, it just doesn't give me a reading. I'm trying to wiggle the dang cord to try to give me a reading. Eventually it should kick on. Oh, speak of the devil, there you go. All right, looks like we're sitting in four and a half foot of water, good. All it took was just me wiggling and jiggling that thing, so hopefully, if I don't touch it for the rest of the day, hopefully we don't have any more issues. Anyways, let's go fishing. I don't really know what I want to fish for. I'm just gonna kinda go with the flow, and if anything eats, then I'll just keep fishing for whatever species eats. Um, I've got a little, it's a little hand poured plastic. I made this back when I was in like high school, and I just got it on a mule jig. So basically just a little Ned rig, and we're gonna start with that, see if we can't catch a bass or two. Current conditions, we've got bluebird skies, a lot of sun, and uh, very little wind. So nice little day for some kayak fishing in the spring. I, sh I say spring, but really it's like late winter. It's not really spring yet, it's early March. Here in Michigan, it's pretty darn cold this time of year. It's probably about 40 degrees out right now. We're gonna try a jig instead. Got a little bit more bulk to it. Put some more of that bass flavor stinky sauce on there. He was down in a brush pile. That's what's up. That feels like a pretty good one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First kayak fish of the year looks like a pretty good one to me. That's a fish I'll take all week. <laughs> Felt good to set the hook with the big stick. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. There you have it, folks. Oh, probably about a 17 incher, my guess is. <laughs> my friends it feels awfully good to be on the board in the kayak i knew i was going to catch fish today this fish was up in a brush pile right next to a drop off a little channel and uh, we've got some decently warm water here for this time of year there you have it so we are fishing in front of an area that has a hot water discharge and obviously that makes a significant impact this time of year you know during the rest of the year i wouldn't say it's necessarily a huge deal but during the, the cold water season, it makes a massive impact. And those fish are gonna be drawn to the warmest water they can find, and that's why I am fishing as close to it as possible. I've only fished out here in the early spring one other time, and I had success, so here I am a few years later, and uh, the same bite is there today. There's one. Oh man. I almost lost my rod there. Oh man. Set the hook and I almost lost my rod there. Oh, another nice little bass right there. All right, see you, buddy. Oh. Oh. That lost my rod. Set the hook and my rod just straight up slipped. Trying not to make too much commotion because these guys are just right in front of me. Another one. Off the same exact post. Similar size fish. There you go. 
<laughs> Two fish almost identical right off that post. The fish looks almost identical to the last one. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Same exact spot. <laughs> I don't think it's the same fish. I don't think he'd be that dumb, but I swear it was his identical twin. I'm trying to keep my cool a little bit because I'm fishing right next to people, but my friends, I'm very excited right now. God, I love flipping and pitching. <laughs> I plan to do some more bass fishing this year for sure. I've kind of gotten away from my roots. This is definitely my roots right here. You know, growing up in Kansas, there's a lot of dirtier water. So you fish like this a lot. Up here in Michigan, I've gotten so used to the clear water because I fish so much clear water. And uh, I just haven't done as much flipping and pitching. It's just not as big of a part of my fishing technique, I would say. But in water like this, man, this is perfect. I'm gonna catch a fish on this flip, guarantee it. Guaranteed fish. Watch this. I didn't see this stump earlier. There's gonna be a fish on that, no doubt in my mind. Watch this, here we go, here we go. There's a bite. Broke me off, I should have checked my line. I knew there was gonna be fish right there, I felt the bite. Gosh dang it, you idiot, check your line, dude. I didn't even ever actually get a hook in that fish, so that fish might bite again. He probably dropped the jig right away. I never even felt tension. Just clean snap, who knows, I mean, maybe it was a pike, could be. I didn't really look what was in my box, I just grabbed a box real quick. Hopefully I have more jigs like that. This isn't identical to what I was just throwing, but it's pretty close. It's a green pumpkin, slightly smaller in size it looks like, but close enough. We'll try that. If that doesn't work, we'll go to the black and blue. What I was throwing was more of like a brown and purple. I really liked that color for this stained water, but um, I think the green pumpkin should work just fine too. Both of those boats have left so I can finally stop hiding my excitement. I tell you what, I don't like to freak out in front of people because I don't really want to draw a bunch of attention to myself, but now, finally they are gone so I've got this whole stretch of bank to myself and it's been quite productive. I mean, I've caught like three bass and then I missed one or broke it off or whatever and uh, we're just flipping a jig, my friends. As you can tell, we're just flipping a jig. The brown and purple was what was working for me. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of those so I switched to green pumpkin. I still think this will work but if it doesn't, I might try black and blue. Either way, this is fun. This is a uh, high speed reel, a seven foot one medium heavy fast rod, and we've got like 15 pound fluorocarbon. So this is uh, this is serious business for me because you guys know I use a lot of two and four and six pound test. So this is heavy stuff for me. So feels really good to be back to bass fishing. Let's get back to it. Let's go catch a few more. So when I say I'm gonna check my line, really what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my thumb and my forefinger and really just checking for any abrasion. And right now I don't feel any, so I think my line should be good to go. So let's go fish that spot again and see if we can't catch another bass. We caught two here earlier. They were like identical twins. It's gotten enough rest to where if there's other fish in the area, they might be here and willing to bite. The wind is definitely starting to kick up just a little bit more. It's nothing too intense, but it's enough to mess with me. There's bite. There he is, yes sir. Three fish right off the same exact spot. Oh, baby, that's a dog. That's a freaking dog. Oh my Lord, that's big. Oh, this is where kayak fishing gets fun right here, boys. Oh Lord, get your face in my net. Yes! Straight old meatball right there, boys. Look how fat that fish is. Ba-boom. <laughs> Love to see it. Oh, jig to the dome. Turns out green pumpkin works just fine. All right. It's probably not a five pounder, but it's gotta be all of four. Probably four and a half. See ya, bud. <laughs> Three fish off the same exact spot. That is hilarious. Now, granted, it's been a little while since those last fish, but it's crazy. One spot, three solid fish. I'm a happy camper. I'm a real happy camper.
Hey, look at there. I found a deep hole. I caught this chunky little yellow perch. Awesome. I marked some fish on my graph. Sweet. I just started playing around with my ultralight. I made one cast in this little bowl right here. Caught a little yellow perch. See you, buddy. Oh, I got hit. Well, that's two casts in a row. I got a bite. I missed that fish, but I tell you what, this is very promising. There he is. Yes. I think I just found a school of yellow perch, my friends. This one feels pretty decent. There's a decent little fish. Similar size to the last one. Not tiny, but not really big either. Really healthy though. They're nice and fat right now. Good, good, good. I'm just using a 1 8 ounce workhorse jig, chartreuse, with a true chartreuse donkey tail junior. And we're just gonna bottom hop this thing. So I'm just letting my uh, jig settle down to the bottom. I'm not making very long a cast. So it's a really simple technique. I'm just kind of hopping it a few times, letting it sit, hopping it a few times, letting it sit, watching my line. Oh, one pound in it. There's another one. There's just like a deep bowl down there and all these perch are just stocked up in the middle of it. And they're nice and chunky. Look at that fish. Small, but chunky. See you, bud. Oh yeah, there's one. God, oh. these fish are such short strikers. I need to find one of the big ones. I'll take these little guys because they're nice and fat, but I just would love if a big old like 10, 12 incher would eat because that would be a little bit better for me to hook. These fish are all short striking so hardcore. It's basically just a big deep bowl. It's about 15 feet at the, the center of it and it's right around a channel swing. And it just seems like there's a bunch of yellow perch sitting right in the middle of it, right around 14 to 15 foot down. The thing is, I'm definitely only catching, you know, probably half of the bites I get. Oh, that one pounded it. That feels like it might be a little bit better yellow perch. Yeah, a lot of the bites I get, they just don't get it all the way. Yeah, that one's fat. Again, they're, they're all fat fish. They're all about the same length. But I'm going to take these fish and I'm going to have fun with them. I wish I would have found this. Oh, he pounded it. I wish I would have found this right after I caught all those bass. I spent quite a bit of time just dinking around. Wow, that one's actually probably my best. This one might be my best perch. You can see it's just loaded. I don't know if they're little females that are loaded with eggs or what, but they are fat. And this is the time of year that perch fishing is pretty good because the water temps are low and these fish spawn pretty early in the spring, like real late winter, early spring. They're probably not spawning quite yet, but when they get around the spawn, they get to be a lot more aggressive. I have a feeling this is a spot that I can come back to every year and catch more and more yellow perch. Dag gum, that one throttled it. That one kind of actually hit it on the fall. Wouldn't surprise me if this would be something different, but nope, sure enough, it's another yellow perch. It's funny how fish tend to school up with other fish their size, and just about every single one of these perch has been almost identical. Really, really fat, football looking thing, but small, short. See ya, bud. So we started the day catching some big old juicy bass on a flipping jig, and we ended the day catching some short little chunky yellow perch on a workhorse jig. Definitely a great day of fishing, my friends. I love kayak fishing, and I am so happy that the weather is only gonna get warmer from here. So make sure to stay tuned for some more kayak fishing, multi-species, little bit of bass, little bit of perch, little bit of this, little bit of that. Have a good day. We'll catch you next time.